go. This is Veronica Taylor, and for myself and Ash Ketchum, you're watching the Cartoon Gamer 8000. Over the years, there's been a lot of Pokemon introduced that have just not been all that great, either from a battling point of view or design-wise. And how does Game Freak make these Pokemon more popular among the fanbase? They give them evolutions, or in X and Y's case, Mega Evolutions, which are an amazing concept. Not a permanent change, but it comes with all the bells and whistles of a regular evolution. And Pokemon that you once thought had reached their full potential get all the more powerful, or balanced out. Now, I don't expect a ton of Pokemon to get new evolutions but these are the ones that I think deserve them the most. So now, without further ado, I present to you... The Top 5 Pokemon That Should Evolve In Some Way! There's no beating around the bush here. Glalie needs a lot of work. With a base total of 80 in every stat across the board, it's one of the worst ice types out there and a pretty pathetic excuse for a fully evolved Pokemon. But I think a Mega Evolution would be the best way to fix Glalie up. Ice types are pretty bad defensively, so it'd be best to give Mega Glalie a secondary type that'll nullify at least one of its weaknesses. And maybe an ability too, you never know. I can't see Mega Glalie's design being too different from regular Glalie. Maybe give it some extra spikes, make it more intimidating Intimidating? I don't know. The point I'm trying to get across is just make Glalie not mediocre. That's what I ultimately want. Bless you. In my opinion, I think Torkoal is a really cool Pokemon. When you take one of my favorite animals and give it the ability to breathe fire, you can't expect me to not talk about it at some point. Ash's Torkoal from the anime made me love the Pokemon even more. It was such a comical goofball, but it was no pushover when it came to battling. I just wish that Torkoal were as good in the games as it was in the show. Torkoal is super defensive, but it could use a boost in its special defense and speed especially. Water types just have a field day with Torkoal. Before it can even make a move, it's more than likely already down for the count. So, through a Mega Evolution, pump up those aforementioned stats, and maybe bump up its special attack a little bit, and I can already see it being used a lot more often. Now, regular Torkoal's design is pretty basic, more or less just a tortoise with a stove in its shell. So a Mega Evolution's design can go in many different directions. Maybe you could have it standing upright, maybe some volcanoes coming out of its shell. I don't know, surprise me, Game Freak. Let me tell you why Farfetch'd is such a bad Pokemon. First off, it doesn't have a single stat over 65. It has some interesting moves at its disposal, but it can't use any of those moves to their full potential because of its aforementioned garbage stats. Farfetch'd is such a bad Pokemon to use in battle, people have found a better use for it. Food! You know you're a bad Pokemon when you can't serve your trainer well, so they end up serving you well done! Farfetch deserves a true evolution, and this piece of fan art right here is pretty much an accurate representation of what I'd like his evolve form to be. The best type I can think of giving a far-fetched evolution would be Fighting Flying, which would not only be unique, but it would make the evolution one of the few bird Pokemon not weak to Stealth Rock, on top of being completely immune to spikes. And if they focused on its attack and defense stats, making it a bulky physical attacker, that'd also be pretty unique among bird Pokemon. I really do like far-fetched, and I'd be more than happy to save it a spot on my team. It just needs to earn that spot. Sceptile getting a Mega Evolution is something that's very likely to happen, and I'll be surprised if it doesn't. While I'm excited to see what they could do for its design, I mainly want Mega Sceptile's stats to be worked on, specifically its offensive stats. I'd like to see its attack stat get beefed up at the cost of some of its special attack. Why? Well, why not? Aw oh, man, I shouldn't have done that. It's because my Sceptile from Ruby, who I named Grassy, was a force to be reckoned with back in the day, with moves like Dragon Claw, Crunch, and his one signature technique, Leaf Blade. Those were all special moves in Gen 3, and after the physical special split that happened in Gen 4, all those moves became physical. If you take one look at Sceptile's stats, it'd be much smarter to give him something like Energy Ball over Leaf Blade. So basically what it all comes down to is the fact that I think Leaf Blade and Dragon Claw are really cool moves, and I want to see Sceptile take full advantage of them again. Immaturity may be a culprit in this decision, but you know, I, I gotta say, my immaturity is genius sometimes.
Dunsparce is one of those Pokemon that most people don't give a second glance, and for a while, I didn't care too much about it either, until I watched Chugga Conroy's LP of Pokemon Coliseum, and after he went over Dunsparce's info, I then realized just how much missed potential it has. Like most normal types, it has a diverse move pool, but it also has an amazing ability in Serene Grace. What is Serene Grace? Well, let me tell ya. Serene Grace doubles the chance of a move's added effect coming into play. If you gave a Dunsparce Rock Slide, that move would have a 60% chance of making the opponent flinch, instead of the usual 30. That is a crazy good ability. The only things hindering Dunsparce are its stats, which I'd like to see raised up in the form of a regular evolution. Give the evolution a very subtype and it would become a competitive masterpiece. Here's hoping that Dunsparce gets the evolution it not only needs, but deserves. Thank you for watching everybody who did, and make sure to do the things that every video tells you to do, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. But I will not force it upon thee. And if you have a Pokemon that you want to see evolve in some way, leave a comment down below and tell me what it is. Also, check out my Facebook because I have one of those. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Later.